society is labeling, numbing people down to average, man. If you could just be average, then you'll fit in. But that's not who changes the world. That's not who makes a difference. That's not who creates industries. That's not who gets the freedom they want. And as long as I fought that, okay, for the first literally 45 years of my life, I fought this idea that I would be rich, I'd be famous, I'd have the hot chick, all these things. I, I fought it because I had people around me saying, dude, don't do that. You say too much, you have no filters, you can't control what you say. I mean, you see this in society. You know, my mom, maybe my mom was like, hey, Grant, you know, you're fine just the way you are. And I'm like, well, that's good for you to say. You know, people, people like the, the whole therapeutic community says, you need to love yourself the way you are. Dude, no, you don't. If you know you have more potential, you should not love yourself just the way you are. If you, why would you lie to yourself? People need to find their obsessions so that they're, that they're not average. Like, if you don't find the things that you're obsessed with, if you don't find those things, then you're just gonna be average. You're gonna be in the passenger of somebody's seat. And regardless of where you are in your life now, whatever your excuses or your ideas are, or whatever's going on in your life, whether you got kids or not kids, or young or old, you know, I've been in every situation in my life that, that you know, some awful. And what did I want to obsess with uh, about at that moment? Did I want to obsess about how limited my options were or did I want to obsess about how much potential I might have had in that moment to change my life?